What's going on everyone? Coach Kyle here from Colossus Fitness and I'm gonna be walking you through six simple steps to get you ready for summer. Let's jump right into it. And number one, we are gonna start off with goal setting. So I find, unfortunately, a lot of issues come with goal setting where some people don't have them at all, and some people set goals that are just very general that don't actually push them, and there's no accountability and metrics involved within it. So we wanna set SMART goals, and SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Time-Bound. So what this would look like is an example of, let's say something along the lines of, I wanna lose 20 pounds over the next 90 days. We have a lot of clients looking to lose that amount of weight, they set the goal. We also break it down to weekly goals and all that great stuff. And this is the best way to get you results versus just saying, hey, I wanna lose a bit of weight. I wanna be healthier. Those are great goals, but when we have these metrics involved, when we have the time frame involved, when it's also realistic, it makes it so much more real, it makes it so much more manageable, and we can keep track of that along the way, and this is gonna be the first starting step. Without goals, unfortunately, we just don't actually have direction, and it's like a rudderless ship. You know, We need that rudder, essentially, to push us along across the sea, just like a ship would, but these goals are what's gonna push us forward. It's gonna help us you know, get ready for summer, and just know exactly what we're pushing for and hold us accountable along the way. And next up, this has to be said, we need to be in a calorie deficit. So we're gonna start off with nutrition here. Simply put, let's say you're at a point where you're eating 2,000 calories. I'm gonna use that as an example, but your body's not losing any weight. You keep checking, you're weighing in consistently you're gonna have to be in a calorie deficit. So for you, that might mean going down to about 1,700 calories, seeing how your body reacts. Now the biggest thing here is you have to be as accurate as possible. A lot of people, they go to eat consistently, they drink a lot of stuff that they maybe they don't log, they don't really use their food scale, they don't use measuring cups, and they think they're eating this amount of calories. So you really have to be specific, and you also have to know that this isn't gonna be something that's gonna be for the rest of your life. It might just be a certain time frame, but making sure for the next 60 to 90 90 days that you're logging your food, you're using my fitness pal, which is free. You don't have to pay, you know, you do the paid version, the premium version, and just being super accurate with that and making sure if you're at a point where you're not losing weight, you're not gaining weight, that's gonna be your maintenance, which will take some trial and error. You start to eat below that, you're making sure you're hitting your protein, you will lose weight consistently as long as you're consistent with it, and that's gonna be the most important thing because so many people, they set the goals, they work out, they do all this great stuff, they start moving, but they're not actually in a calorie deficit, so they don't lose any fat. Now this is obviously something we specialize in. We have helped over 4,000 people now, and we are looking to take on a few more people looking to get ready for summer, who wanna get lean, who wanna learn how to get in shape and also stay in shape, and even there is a lot of confusion, right? How much do I eat? Uh, what happens when I hit a plateau? What workout should I be doing? We will take care of you. So essentially all you have to do is send us a message with the keyword on Instagram saying summer special. We'll get you the results you deserve. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic and we can't wait to help some of you awesome people. Now into tip number three. Number three on the same topic of being in a calorie deficit. So we've already covered the nutrition side. Now an easy way to make sure you are in a deficit is essentially starting to eat a little bit less and move a little bit more, right? So if you're someone who, let's say, you know, you're moving 8,000 steps, an easy fix would be to start to increase it to 10,000 steps, 12,000, right? If you're someone who maybe walks half an hour a day, bump it up to 45 minutes a day. You can do a couple different things, especially as it's getting nicer out, just to sprinkle in a bit more movement, which is gonna mean you're gonna burn more calories, so your overall energy expenditure is gonna be higher, paired with eating a little bit more, that's gonna be an amazing deficit, but once again, you have to stay consistent with it. You can incorporate so many different fun things, such as joining some sort of sport league. Uh, it's something that we do consistently, you know, going for bike rides, just going for more walks. This is an amazing thing. If you were to stop right here, these three tips will definitely change the game for you, and uh, I highly encourage it. Now, as a coach, seeing so many different people transform over the years, become a different version of themselves, and not just lose weight and lose fat, but also keep it off. And that's where I really wanna encourage you to lose weight, to get to the next level, to feel your best, but not just for a certain amount of time, not just for a vacation coming up or a wedding coming up. Like my mission here is to help someone lose weight and keep it off. That's what we do and what we absolutely you know, love helping people with. So that's why this next tip is just setting a new identity for yourself starting to become a different version. If you're that person who would always say yes to every drink, you know, to every appetizer, to all these things, don't get me wrong, you can still 
have a great social life, you can still have an amazing time with friends and family and succeed, but at the same time, you have to start to become a different version. You're that new version of yourself that starts to turn down the things that aren't great for you and start saying yes to more of the exciting things that are gonna help you out, such as more cardio protocols, you know, uh, not skipping on that workout that you'd usually skip out on. And I find the true identity change of that person who maybe is unhealthy, starting to switch over to that person who's like, I just, I, I'm a healthy person. It doesn't have to consume your life, but I find that that is what creates true change, where next summer you're checking in, you're like, I don't even have to do anything to get ready for it because I just live a healthy lifestyle, because I eat foods that are good for me, that are nourishing, I'm always going on extra walks, and I find that that's the true transformation that takes place is when you become that next version, uh, that better version of yourself that's just living an amazing, fit, healthy, and happy life. So an identity change is absolutely fantastic. It is possible. I I've seen so many people do it who used to be 300 pounds just over consuming food. They start to become a version of themselves where they're craving exercise, they're eating healthy food, they're setting an example for other people as well. And it is possible and that's gonna be tip number four. Now here's where a lot of people struggle. They know what to do, they just don't do it. And step number five is actually taking action and going all in. You know what to do, you've got the criteria laid out, you have the right mindset, you've got the goal set, start taking action. The amount of people I know that will put one foot in and one foot out and they say, oh, maybe I'll start next week, I've got a birthday this week. Actually, funny enough, my birthday's in a few days and I'm doing this challenge where I'm looking to lose eight pounds in a month, I've made a real bet with a friend, I'm staying accountable and planning all these things in and it's so doable and the point I'm trying to get across is there's no point in waiting for the perfect time in maybe going 50% and 50% out. It's just not gonna work that way. Set a goal, commit to it, go all in, if you need accountability, once again, we're here. All you have to do is reach out to us. But there's so many amazing resources out there. There's friends, I'm sure, that are willing to you know, help you out, to hold you accountable. And there's people at the gym that you can talk to even that will motivate you and, and hold you uh, on track, you know, hold you accountable. And I really encourage you, once again, don't just take information. Don't just you know, think, oh, this all sounds good. I'll start eating less. I'll start moving more. New identity, like new goals. Like Actually take action. Summer right now is about two months away. It's going to come up quick. You have to get started now if you're looking to get in shape and stay in shape at this current moment when you're listening to this or watching this as well. And last but not least, the journey is fun. You can make it exciting. You can set new goals. You can plan some new things out. I really encourage you to look forward to something coming up this summer, right? So I just signed up for a beach volleyball league. I'm excited for a couple other things I have planned. Some things that other people like to do is setting a deadline for a photo shoot uh, because that's going to really hold you accountable and it's also exciting. Uh, maybe a little mini vacations, maybe a weekend getaway. You can also reward yourself for getting in shape and reaching the goal that you're striving for. So it doesn't have to be this boring, uh, Thing that you're just not looking forward to. Like the journey can be absolutely incredible. Some people like to book maybe a biking trip or, a trip or even a hiking trip. Like, you know, I'm gonna work towards getting in shape and in uh, as a reward, I'm gonna hike this mountain, you know, the 10 mile hike or whatever it is. Like, I'm just throwing some ideas out there, but the point is that there's a lot of things that you can do right now in this current moment to plan, to look forward to, that will actually excite you and hold you accountable. And uh, I really hope you enjoy this video. These are six steps to get you in shape for summer, to stay in shape for summer and the rest of your life. If you are looking for more insight, some people ask us where we've been. We are back on YouTube now, which is super exciting, but we actually do film two podcast episodes every single week. We have not missed for the last four years. I'll link it down below. It's called the Fit, Healthy, and Happy Podcast. We film it kind of just like this, except Josh and myself are going back and forth, and we'd love to have you over there. We have a YouTube, the Spotify, as well as Apple. It's on Audible, all that great stuff, wherever you listen to your podcast. So make sure to check that out. Uh, hopefully that um, offers some value for you. I guarantee you can learn a lot from that. But until next time, hopefully you enjoy it. Smash that like button and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.